Today's workout begins with good mornings. These are for your backside, which also includes your core. So glutes, hamstrings, and core. With your feet shoulder distance apart, you have many options. You can hold a weight on your chest, a weight on each shoulder, or even behind your neck. With soft knees, I want you to send your hips backwards and then push through the ground and stand up strong. So hips move backwards and then hips move forward, just like the deadlift. We're pushing the earth away. Next up, we're heading to the floor so for some Russian twists. So sitting on the floor with your legs in front of you, lean back to create a V shape. You can keep your feet on the ground or you can lift them for more core engagement. So we're finding this balance and we're twisting at the torso side to side. Nice and slowly, we're moving and we're breathing. Our third movement today is the squat. So first of all, pull those ribs towards your belly button. I want you to squeeze your bottom. Your feet are shoulder distance apart. I want you to send your hips down and back and then stand up strong through your entire foot. So from the side, it looks like this. I'm engaging my body. I'm sitting down in a chair and I'm standing up strong. Lifting your arms in front of you as you squat will improve your form. There's many options for weights today. So you can hold one weight in the goblet. So elbows are tucked into your body. Again, you're sending your hips down and back and you're standing up strong. Push through that entire foot. Or if you want to, you can hold two weights. This is called the front rack. So two weights on your shoulders. Elbows are pointing straight across the room and hips go down and back, stand up strong. Nice and slow and controlled here. We're feeling our core work as well as our legs. Our final movement today is the floor press. Lie down on the ground with a weight in your hand. You're bringing that weight towards your chest and then you're pressing it away. Extend your arm. This is just like the bench press. In fact, if you have a bench, go ahead and use it. 